In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a sliding screen transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Now, once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open and you have two videos imported into a brand new sequence, we can now begin with this effect. So as you see on video layer one, we have this footage of a tree and some buildings and video layer two, we have the grass. So we get a transition from this camera bag shot to the other shot. So to begin with, we want four copies of this ground layer, so the one on top. So we're just gonna copy and paste that layer three times, so we'll have four different versions of this video layer. If you're a Mac, then all you have to do is hold option on your keyboard, select the second video layer, and pull this up to the next layer. Keep doing this over and over again until you've got four different layers. But if you can't do this for some reason, then just hold Command C or Control C if you're on Windows, and then press Command V or Control C to paste this in and just do this until you have four videos and just make sure they're perfectly on top of each other. Now from here, select all of those copied videos so you should have four videos selected. Go into effects, search for crop and we'll drag crop onto all four of those videos. Make sure the bottom layer, that's the original layer, the one with the trees and the buildings, make sure that does not have crop applied to it. Now from here, we're just gonna begin by separating all of these individual layers. So on this top video layer, we're just gonna increase the crop on the bottom by 75% and that's given us a rectangle at the very top quarter of the video. Now we'll turn that layer off, go down to video layer four, we'll increase the crop on the bottom by 50% and then we'll increase the crop on the top by 25% and that gives us another quarter of the video. Get rid of this video and turn on video layer three, we'll increase the crop on the top by 50% and the crop on the bottom by 25%. We have another quarter so we'll turn this off, we'll turn on video layer two, and we'll increase the crop on the top by 75%, and that gives us the bottom quarter. So basically what we've done here is we've assigned each different video layer one quarter of the screen. So now we can go ahead and we can animate the position of these different quarters to animate off and create the splicing transition. So find a point where you want the transition to begin, and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on the position on all four layers. So make sure you don't move the position of the playhead, just keep it where it is and create a brand new keyframe on position on all four layers. Now we'll go ahead in time, maybe six or seven keyframes, and then we'll select the top layer and pull the position over to the right. And we want to make sure that we completely take this video off screen. Now go down to video layer four, and we're gonna pull the position over to the left, so the opposite direction. And again, make sure this is completely off screen. Go down to video layer three, opposite direction, so we'll go to the right, make sure the video is off screen and then video layer two will pull this back over to the left so the opposite direction and make sure this is off screen now when we play this back you can see that was really fast but that was the effect done so to slow this transition down all we have to do is increase the gap between those two keyframes on each individual layer so selecting video layer two i'm going to pull the keyframe over to the right to meet the playhead and then we'll change the position of the keyframe to the exact same spot on all of the other video layers and when we play this back, you can see the transition is much slower. And that is the slicing video transition now complete. So now let's turn on the background layer and we can transition from one shot into the next shot. It's really awesome, it's really easy. That is how you do the slicing video transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe Check out the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.